This is Combat365.tv. Like and subscribe for more hard-hitting combat sports content. Michael Bisping has announced his retirement from mixed martial arts, closing the book on his legendary 14 fight career, which will one day see him inducted into the UFC Hall of Fame. To celebrate this British pioneer, Combat365.tv takes a look at five of the most memorable, hilarious, and epic moments from the Michael Bisping archives. Number five, the ultimate fighter. Bisping began his UFC career as a contestant on the third season of The Ultimate Fighter in 2006. Prior to joining the UFC, the Count had won both the Cage Rage and Cage Warriors Light Heavyweight Championships, a feat which saw the loudmouth Brit highly touted. Representing Team Tito Ortiz, Bisping beat Christian Rafaelmel by TKO in the preliminary round. He then submitted fellow Brit Ross Poynton in the semis, making his journey to the final look easy and he dispatched of Josh Haynes just as impressively to win the Ultimate Fighter television series. Bisping would later return to the Ultimate Fighter for season 14, where he coached across from Jason Mayhem Miller. The interactions between the coaches produced some of the funniest television in the Ultimate Fighter history, and ultimately Bisping would have the final laugh, beating Mayhem at the season finale event. Number four beating Anderson Silva. When the UFC announced Michael Bisping versus Anderson Silva for their 2016 London event, the UK exploded with excitement for two legends to meet inside the octagon. The fight certainly lived up to the pre-fight amble, which was highlighted by Bisping's verbal jabbing of Silva's anti-doping violation, calling the former champion a fraud. Bisping teed off on Silva in the early rounds, but the spider fought back in the third, rattling the brain of Bisping with a brutal knee. Somehow, a day's Bisping survived to see out the fight. Once the final bell rang, both men collapsed to their knees and signaled respect to each other. The judges awarded Bisping the unanimous decision and he became only the sixth person to defeat Silva. Number three, winning the middleweight title. With an injury to number one contender Chris Weidman, Bisping received the call up to fight Luke Rockhold for the gold on just 17 days notice. 17 days to prepare for such an occasion is less than ideal, but building a career on an attitude encapsulated by his willingness to fight anyone at any time, a condensed preparation could not deter Bisping from this career-defining moment. At the age of 37, Bisping had been given the ultimate opportunity to challenge for World Championship gold, a feat the Count knew he had to relish with his diminishing returns on the horizon. And that he did. An incredible left-hand knockout decimated Rockhold in the very first round, stunning his opponent and the world in one of those moments which utterly proves that MMA is entirely unpredictable. Number two, UFC 204. After winning the UFC World Championship, Bisping made it evident that his new dream as champion was to defend the title on home soil in the UK. The UFC wasted no time giving him what he commanded, booking him to fight long-standing rival Dan Henderson in his hometown of Manchester. To make the stakes even higher, the event was to be broadcast on pay-per-view. A rematch over seven years in the making, it served as a sequel to their historic fight at UFC 100, where Hendo H-bombed Bisping into the upside down with one of the nastiest KOs ever seen. It wasn't easy, as Bisping's Knocked up face showed, but overcoming two early knockdowns, he rallied to outstrike Henderson and claim the win by unanimous decision. Number one, the press conference. Those who have followed Bisping will know he's one seriously funny bloke. And for those who perhaps didn't, well, Bisping made sure to make them aware with his antics at the UFC 217 press conference. Scheduled to fight Georgia St. Pierre at Madison Square Garden, Bisping and the returning former champion took to Vegas to promote the fight. The presser was probably worth the price of the pay-per-view as Bisping fired a slew of insults at St. Pierre despite the fact he arrived late. Shut the f*** up, Bisping. Bisping said as he greeted his opponent on the stage before telling him to f off back to Canada. In response, St. Pierre accused him of being intoxicated, which he didn't actually deny. Bisping went on to lose a fight and his championship, but the memories of his hilarious press conference antics will live forever. But what do you think? Are there any memorable Michael Bisping moments that we missed? Let us know in the comment section below. The UK MMA scene is exploding. Click the video on the left to see five dream UK fights you would definitely watch. And don't forget to subscribe to Combat365.tv for more hard-hitting combat sports content.